Dry conditions are keeping firefighters busy in Utah's West Desert. And of course, the timing of all this, fireworks are going on sale across the state. News specialist Mike Anderson joins our team coverage now. Mike, you talked to some Tooele County firefighters about their concerns and about the consequences you could face if you start a fire. Yeah, things that uh, they want everyone to pay attention to. You know, this is burn scar is from the third fire out here in Sandsbury Island in just as many weeks, all from uh, target shooting. And firefighters wrapped this one up today, and they say it started Sunday, and right now the BLM is looking into who is responsible for it. It doesn't take much to light this stuff up. There's no smoldering. There's nothing to start small and grow big. It's an immediate ignition. Already about 145 acres have burned in this area of Tooele County from three fires. Two from using steel ammunition and steel targets. This third one. What we had was a group of individuals out here recreationally target shooting and they decided to use tannerite and tannerite is an exploding target. All as those things are currently restricted because of the dry conditions out here and now a new concern as fireworks go on sale statewide today. We're advising everybody to be very cautious with not just fireworks but um, all the standard precautions. And as with many accidental fires, the people behind this one could be faced with fines and restitution costs. Uh, the BLM takes it very seriously. Um, this is everybody's public land and we want to protect it for generations. And with the hope that those charged can be held as an example for others to pay attention and be responsible. One little spark um, with how dry these fuels are. Um, yeah, it doesn't take much, a little spark and some wind and uh, off to the races. Obviously, an even bigger concern closer to populated areas. Pay attention to current restrictions. Check them out online before heading out. We do our best to educate the public, um, things like putting in those fire restriction orders to help educate the public um, on just how dangerous it actually is. And the Tooele County Fire Warden there tells me as well that fire restrictions could likely change before July 4th. So please watch out for those. And the BLM will allow fireworks, by the way, on the salt flats on July 4th off the frontage road. But that is the only BLM land where that will be allowed. Back to you. We're going to have to be prepared to pivot this summer, Mike. Thanks.